Happy first day of the Festival of the Arts. Hi guys, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and if you're a returning subscriber, hello and thank you for coming back. Today is such a fun video. I love everything Epcot International Festival of the Arts, and unfortunately, I can't go this year and it is ripping at my heartstrings. Like I am not going to recover from this. So the only thing that I thought that would make me happy was to be to dedicate some videos, make some epic decorations in my house and I don't know, grovel. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, am I joking? Anyway, so I have created an epic display that you'll see behind me. We're gonna do a full decorate with me video. We're gonna go over kind of what my inspiration was. Also, some of my favorite things to utilize to create a display like I did. I'll show you all of those supplies and then a miniature haul video and then obviously a full tour of the whole display. And so we have a lot to get through guys. Let's go ahead and get started and let's celebrate all of the things that the Epcot International Festival of the Arts celebrates, culinary arts, visual arts, and performing arts. Let's do this. Okay, I've got my overalls on. We are ready for some creative business. So let's talk about what I chose for this display. So full disclosure, I have a giant Disney collection and I love Festival of the Arts deeply. It is one of my most it is my most favorite festival. And so for me, this display has been very, very simple. I literally just went into my YouTube space and into my ears and into my bags and was able to come up with, I think, an entire display, which I think is incredible, um, just because I only bought four things for the Festival of the Arts display, which I probably will be using in other ways and I'm gonna show you a little haul video in just a second but let's talk about what categories we chose so I always like to have categories because I love having themed shelves I have two bookshelves these are from Target and each of the different shelves I like to have a different category it's just how my brain works I know that I've had a couple people ask if I would do color themes and I think I can do that for you um <laughs> I'm not sure um, how my brain will feel about that, but I think we should try it maybe on a future display. <laughs> but um, I chose basically everything that I had that was figment. I have a fairly decent figment collection uh, and he is the mascot for the festival. So that just makes a lot of sense. Also, I love the movie Soul. And so for performing arts, I wanted to have something to um, represent one of my favorite unique films. And so I chose Soul to be displayed. I also collected all of the pins from my large pin collection that I felt would fit this theme. I chose bags that had original animations to the films because I really love original animation to film things. I don't love interpretations of original animation. So I chose a lot of those. And then also I love the ink and paint collection. Oh my gosh, that collection was right up my alley. Also some amazing art from you guys. And I did create an art piece last year. I did a painting, a multimedia painting that is for the movie Soul. So I'm gonna to try to include all, all of those things in this display. So that is my goal today. We'll see how it goes. I'm probably gonna have to get my husband to help me hang some of the plates. There's plates, you'll wanna stay tuned to see those plates. But I and also the items that I feel are necessary to make a really nice uh, display shelf. And so I thought this might be helpful. I'm gonna link all of these items down in the description box down below. I got everything from Amazon. But I'm gonna start with these. These are little clear risers. They come in all sorts of different sizes and shapes. Um, well, mainly they're this shape, but I mean, they come in skinnier rectangles, larger rectangles, squares, those sorts of things. And you can get them in packs. As you can see, I have a ton of them. It's because my, specifically my Christmas display requires a significant amount of these. But also when you make like these types of displays, you never really know how high or low you're going to want your items. And sometimes you run out and are not able to have the right height. And for me, that drives me crazy. It may not drive other people crazy, but sometimes you have to get a little creative for that. But I think that these look so lovely on a shelf because it doesn't take away from the item that you're displaying. Next little tub I have is little easels. So these are little 
easels that can hold really anything. They can hold art prints, they can hold plates, they can hold, um, you name it. I've placed ears on them before. They are great. You can use them both like this and standing. And so uh, they're very versatile. I recently purchased these. I love these things. They are just little stands and they are absolutely perfect for smaller items that can't stand on their own. I used a ton of these in my Christmas display. Another type of display item that I recently got and I am in love with are these little acrylic earring holders. Now I have these Gelatoni earrings. These Gelatoni earrings are um, just something that I'm going to be putting on this display, but I wanted to show you how neat is this little acrylic display. And now these come, I think, in a four pack, it's either a three pack or a four pack for $10 but I have so many beautiful Disney earrings that I thought it would be so nice to be able to have something to display them. And so you'll see those inside the display as well. Another thing that wasn't in these little bins that I did want to show you is I always have a lot of LED lights that I like to put in my displays. I just feel like it enhances the look of them. I specifically chose these multicolored uh, LED lights this time because I want everything to be really bright and colorful for Festival of the Arts. But I have a ton of just white LEDs and also a ton of white candles and a ton of black candles. But I don't want to use candles in this display today. I just want to use multicolored LED lights. So you'll probably be seeing those. But I think that LED lights like the battery operated ones really enhance, really, really enhance a display. And then for circular items, I have these little rings and you can just place um, a, an ornament or anything that you have that's circular on this and it will not roll, which is so lovely. And then of course, surprisingly enough, these come in handy so much. These are ornament holders. And you can also display lots of things like necklaces. You can also hook uh, the shirt of a small stuffed animal on these to make sure that it stands up, those sorts of things. Surprisingly versatile. I have several of these. I also have them in black as well. And in here are all my command hooks. Now, I will say the best command hook that I have are these small wire ones because you can hang them not only on the wall, but the hook is able to move up and down, which is so lovely, so you can move it. But you can also hook it on the underneath portion of a shelf to hang things from the top of the shelf so they can dangle on the shelf itself. So these are absolutely incredible. And then you can get the little refills of the adhesive wall stickers to go with those. So that is what I use for my little display behind me. Let's talk about the few items that I did purchase for the display or for Festival of the Arts, I should say, because they're both. I was able to get this really super cute little wooden block Mickey that looks like an artist palette. This was actually from Main Street Charms. I love them. If you have seen my recent small shop hauls or recent uh, decorate with me videos, you will definitely see lots of things from Main Street Charms. They also have a ton of stuff that goes on tiered trays. So if you're a tiered tray fan, this is where to go. I got this really neat um, artist palette. I love this. It is an artist palette that is made of wood and it has little hidden Mickeys as the paint. I think this is so beautiful. This is something that I would have put in my collection regardless. And I'm going to hopefully use a lot of the things that I put in the display in my craft room because I really, really, really want to redecorate my craft room. I just feel like it's time. And I'm hoping that this summer that is going to happen. Another small shop that I'm super obsessed with is Mare Bear Press. If you have seen, again, any of my recent haul videos that include small shops, I live for Mare Bear. And she has made the most beautiful figment. Um, it's like he's pouring paint around Spaceship Earth and it is all magical and rainbow and it's got flowers and he looks so adorable and print is holographic and oh my gosh it is so stunning it's so hard to pick up on camera because it is so shiny 
Um, so I might, yeah, there we go. I think we're just gonna have to hold it like that. And I will show details of the display up close later on so you'll be able to see it. But do not sleep on Mare Bear. Do not sleep on Mare Bear. I will link um, all of these small shops down below. And then I found these ears that were so cute. I fell in love with the print and I fell in love with the beautiful pastel rainbow sequins. <laughs> How cool is this? They're like paint splatter. They have hidden Mickeys and then also they have like that rainbow element. Oh my gosh, I think these are so stunning and I'm going to display them, but I definitely will be wearing these next time I am able to go to Festival of the Arts. It is time to start working on the display. So as you'll see here, I'm kind of picking different items and kind of putting them all in categories for the shelves so I can kind of decide where I want the shelves. You'll see me, I'll put things on shelves and kind of back up and see if that's where I want them because it is kind of like a general composition, right? Like I even tried to put the soul painting on the top shelf and it didn't, didn't fit. So I kind of moved that around to a different location, but it took me about an hour and a half to get everything kind of where I wanted it. Also, I have been saving these. They were little prizes for when we did the figment like art scavenger hunt and I haven't had any reason to use them and now I do and so I'm so excited to finally be able to display these guys. So once I figured out the category for each of the shelves, like the theme for each of the shelves, I then start fine tuning. So I grab all of my risers. My husband shows me a funny video on the internet and then I continue <laughs> working <laughs> um, and placing things on the shelves. And it's just kind of fun trial and error, just playing with it to see how it looks. Here is the finished product. I just did not have enough wall space to put everything up. So you'll see some paintings on the ground, but I'm so excited to show you guys the details. Let's take a peek. I think one of the best places to start is all of the bags and ears that I chose for the display. Here is the soul bag for obvious reasons because of the performing arts, also one of my most favorite Pixar films. My friend Meg over at Mickey's Magic, you'll see she made a lot of things in this display. She's a very artsy and craftsy person. She knows how much I love Gerald from Finding Dory and she made those beautiful ears for me. As we work our way down, we have some Lotso ears that are from a small shop. I'll link that small shop here so you guys can check it out. And everyone's links and information will be down below. I have a very old Pua Danielle Nicole bag that I just love. And I wanted to really show a bunch of original animation in this display. And so I decided to add that. Meg also made this from Mickey's Magic. We did a craft swap a few years back and then she added this to my um, items that I received from her and I just think it's so stunning. Obviously Figment is the mascot for this festival and so I got the little figment ears and then this is the figment bag from the 35th anniversary and this was given to me by my friends Abby and Hope over at the Disney Sisters and I think it's such a cute little touch. As we're moving down we have some really cute scrump ears. These are from Pixie Dusted Ear Designs. I also have a promo code for them if you're interested. I'll link them down below. This is a stunning bag. If you don't know, The Little Mermaid is my most favorite film. And this bag used to be a cast member exclusive, but they recently made it a small shop exclusive. And I just think it is so stunning and it really shows off the animation um, in the cavern scene. And also we've got Daddy Triton's castle in the background. Moving down from the bags, I have this really awesome Art of Disney from Mickey Mouse to the Magic Kingdoms. And this was a book that was given to me by my friend Carl. This was actually his father's book. And um, after his father passed and he was going through his stuff and he gave this to me from his um, father's personal collection, which is super, super sweet. So I will cherish this book. It's really, really amazing. I'm gonna put the vlog um, that I received this book in above and down below for you guys to check out. We have a snoozing figment. He is so very cute. This is from their like sleeping collection and I think this is such a precious, precious plush. Now on to the other side of the display. We've got more bags. So we have this King Triton, hashtag daddy though, and aerial ears. These were also given to me by I believe a Braille, Disney Braille, and I will link her channel down below. I don't know the small shop, but if I can find it, I'll definitely link it. This was a really neat touch on a magazine cover that is a Danielle Nicole bag. I just really fell in love with it and I thought it was a unique animation style. 
These ears are rainbow figment Epcot ears that were given to me by my friend Katie over at Over the Mooney, and they are so very stunning. And at night, they're even better because you can see the light shining through the back of the ears, which is really, really fun. Now, I recently did a haul video on a bunch of Disney bags that I got, and this was one of my newest to my collection. This is such a cool bag. It encompasses Festival of the Arts so beautifully. This is the Rapunzel bag where she is actually painting the walls of her tower. And as you can see, little Pascal is there. He's holding the paint palette for her, which I think is so adorable. Her hair is actually the handle of this bag, and it is a backpack. Such a unique bag. I've never seen it before. So this is definitely something that I thought had to go with this display. I will be permanently displaying this in my craft room because it is just an epic bag. As we move our way down, we've got some beautiful Cinderella ears from La Bonite. I'll link them down below. And then I thought this was so very cute. Gus Gus and Jacques filling up this little shoe with spools and thread. Next, I don't know if you guys remember the Crafted series. It was one of my most favorite series over here on the channel that I did with my friend Katie from Over the Mooney. Her and I did crafts almost, I think it was about every single month and we would do a craft challenge and it was so, so much fun. This was one of those items that I created from that craft challenge. I painted Pegasus and also the symbol of the gods and made these ears during that video. If you're interested in seeing that video, I'll link it below for you. Here is the Muses bag. I just thought it went so beautifully with the Pegasus ears and so I just went ahead and put it together there as like a little package deal. Now down here I have some artwork. These two were made by Cherry Blossom family members. Thank you guys so much for sending these to me. This is so amazing. So we have this really beautiful beaded scrump and then also we have this really lovely painting from Jen Doyle. I'll leave Jen Doyle's channel down below. And then this piece of art is actually from Tokyo Disney. Oh, hello, Telly. <laughs> Ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Say what, you guys? We're going to start at the bottom of the display and work our way up. These two, there's two paintings like this. These were from a spinning painting bike that my husband and I got to create when we were in Epcot for Festival of the Arts back in 2020. And oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I will link that vlog below. We've got a really beautiful art print of Figment painting around Spaceship Earth. We also have another print that is one of the Aristocat kitties. This is Berlioz and he is painting. And then another super cute Figment painting. This is one of the new ones for this year. We're gonna start with our very first shelf. So if you don't know who Gelatoni is, Gelatoni is one of the friends from Duffy and Friends. Duffy is Mickey Mouse's bear. Shelly Mae is Minnie Mouse's bear. And then they have a bunch of little furry friends that they have all little individual stories for. The story about Gelatoni, who is my favorite from Duffy and Friends, is that he is a little artist cat. And his tail is actually what he uses as his his paintbrush which I think is so adorable. Everything from here over I got at Tokyo Disney when I went which was just so fun. So these are great mementos for me. Tokyo Disney was like the highlight. I feel like the highlight of my life recently. Um, I went there in 2019 and I'm so ready to go back. And these little earrings were given to me by one of you guys. So thank you so much for sending these to me. They are so very cute. And then I got this little tin that says paint with me and it has Gelatoni holding a little crayon. And I think it's just so cute. I got this little rain gelatoni from a magical pick me up box, which is a Disney subscription box from the Asian parks. And what I love about this so much when we were in Tokyo, if you saw any of the vlogs from when we were in Tokyo, it rained the whole time. And so seeing him in his little rain jacket just reminded me of my time in Tokyo. And I think it's so very cute. So we're starting out with a bang with a little gelatoni shelf. We're going to move on to this little shelf. We have this really beautiful art print that I showed you earlier in the video. Of course, we couldn't have Festival of the Arts 
without art from one of my most favorite <laughs> Pixar films ever, Monsters University. We got a little figment of uh, Bigfoot plush and then the colors of Pixar book. Now, I wanna show you this book because it is just too cool. This is actually stills from Pixar movies that are in rainbow order. How neat is this? And they are so unique. What a cool book. This is such a neat book for like a Pixar fan in your life. And I ended up getting this while I was at Disneyland a few years ago. And moving up from the bottom shelf, we have the little Festival of the Arts scavenger hunt winnings from a few years ago. This is Donald dumping some paint and also Epcot with some paint dripping down it, or the, I should say Spaceship Earth. It's not Epcot, but I call the Spaceship Earth ball Epcot. We have got the Donald Duck plush. This was from when we went to Topolino Terrace and had Topolino's breakfast, which was such a fun experience. If you're interested in seeing that vlog, I'll link it below. And then another from the Crafted series. This is the very famous Winnie the Pooh wall hanging that I created. You guys ended up loving this one. And I have a full tutorial on how to make that. And that is over. On, um, that is also on my channel, which I will link below. I have another beautiful piece of art from Meg over at Mickey's Magic. This was another coaster that she created for me for that swap that we were in. Also, we have this really amazing painting picture frame that my sweet admin at work found for me from Goodwill. She's like, I saw this and it was absolutely you. And it is, it is so stunning. I have a picture of my husband and I on our 10 year wedding anniversary. He's kissing me on the people mover. Mm, so romantic. I go for long romantic rides on the people mover. My most favorite ride ever. And so anyway, I just think it's so cute. Also, can we talk about how angry Donald is? I just love it. But how cool is this? They're all like holding different elements of painting, paintbrushes. It is just such a cool piece to have. Next, we're moving on to the Romero Brito shelf. Romero Brito is an artist and he creates all of these really unique pop art statues. We've got Dumbo, Pascal, we've got the queen herself, Ursula, Sebastian, Ariel, and Dumbo. And then behind is a really beautiful print from one of my most favorite small shops, Second Star Lane. I'll link them down below. Moving up to the next shelf. This is one of my most favorite shelves. This is Soul. I just feel like that movie does not get enough love. I think it's so unique. The animation style is wild. It has beautiful original music by Trent Reznor, which is super cool. And so I have three pops from that film. Also, this is my Soul Cat. That is a little nightlight. I got this from Fun Com, and I think it is so fun. It's actually squishy, which is even better because I love things that are fun and textured in that way. I also have a little Christmas ornament that has Joe Gardiner and also uh, Mr. Mittens on it. And then I have this really fun book called The Art of Soul. It has all of the concept drawings and original artwork from the film. And then I got this really neat print that is Epiphany. It's like one of the songs in the movie and it's got Joe Gardner, Mr. Mittens and it's got 22 and also Joe Gardner as a little soul and I think this shelf is super fun. Also the original art piece that I made I will show you a little bit later. It's at the top of the display. Next I have a pin board that I created for the Festival of the Arts but let's take a peek. This is a really cool little figment popcorn bucket pop socket that one of you guys made me. Thank you so much. This is such a cute display piece also so I was really excited to be able to incorporate it. And then I have an art piece from Epcot. This was from the Festival of the Arts and it is the um, Spaceship Earth and Tinkerbell and Figment watching the fireworks. I also have these super cute earrings that are Mickey paint palettes that I just love. I was wearing them earlier in the video. And here is the pin board. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but we've got Festival of the Arts pins at the top. We've got art on this side. We've got figment. We've got that really beautiful print from Jen Doyle. And then these two pins, this one here with the green and also this one with the red, those used to be scavenger hunt prizes. And so they used to give those away. I think that might've been the first time Festival of the Arts ever happened. They gave those pins, which I thought were so fun. 
The next shelf that we are highlighting is this really fun Sorcerer Mickey shelf. I had a lot of really fun Mickey items, specifically Sorcerer, but let's start over here on the side. This was from the Ink and Paint collection. These came in little mystery paint buckets, and I happened to get the Chase, which I thought was so exciting. It's the one that I wanted so bad because it was the only one that was like Technicolor Mickey, and oh my gosh, I live for him. I think he is so adorable. These really beautiful sorcerer ears I got from Le Bonnie. A vintage cup from McDonald's and this is the Hollywood Studios cup. Really unique and fun keychain from the ink and paint collection. And my favorite part is this little Mickey palette that it comes with. This is the little Main Street Charms I showed you earlier in the video. And then we have a couple of small plastic statues. These were little mystery boxes I got from Hot Topic a couple of years ago. And then my Bobble Bar keychain that is Mickey dripping with paint, which I'm obsessed with. This is a little zipper pouch I just thought was kind of cute, so I put it as a decorative element. But this is the piece de resistance. This is such a cool piece. This is from another animation celebration that was done at Disney. Guys, I know that some of you told me and now I can't remember, but anyway, I thrifted this a couple of years back, or maybe it was last year even, and oh my gosh, this piece is so neat. It's got Tinkerbell, Cheshire, it's got Mickey walking on a storybook, Pinocchio, Dumbo, and one of the little mushrooms. Look how beautiful, like the little wisps that are coming out of the book actually are pink ombre and they have glitter in them. It's not expensive, but such a cool, probably my best thrift store find from Disney for sure. This shelf I think is so, so very cute. We've got the ink and paint shot glass set. Yes, these are shot glasses, believe it or not. They have little velvet on the underneath and then you can place them onto the art palette to present your guests with delicious art filled drinks. We've got Rapunzel and she's painting with Pascal on her head. We have a little mystery canvas. I got this from Tokyo Disney. I thought it was such a unique item. And then this little artist palette I recently purchased for the display. And then in the very back there, this is an art print that was given out to annual pass holders during the 35th anniversary of Epcot. And what's really neat about it, it's not picking up on camera, but there's actually an embossed element and the embossing happens to be the pass holder symbol, which I think is such a neat touch. We've got those new ears that I showed earlier in the video. And then we've got Mickey Mouse dressed up as an artist from Topolino's Terrace Breakfast. And then my friend Meg over at Mickey's Magic also made me this stunning coaster. Now moving up to the figment shelf, this is such a cool piece. So Jay Feldman Art, I will link her down below. She does a lot of these types of pieces that showcase the different treats and different things at the festival. Of course, I had to get Festival of the Arts. We always love the pop art. Pop tart. We have the figment popcorn bucket with his rainbow popcorn at the bottom. The deconstructed key lime pie, which we've had before. It's just such a cool homage to the festival. Also, we have the figment spork, which I live for. Do not sleep on this woman's art. She is incredibly, incredibly talented. We have the figment popcorn bucket, the famous figment popcorn bucket. Now, this is going to be bedazzled in the near future. Also, if you have seen an old video of mine called the Art Challenge, this is my husband's painting of Moana and it is so impressive and so stunning. And if you want to see that video, I epically failed and it was hilarious. Here is a vintage figment plush. We got a little magnet with figment, also another piece of art from Festival of the Arts. We've got the figment pop, which is my most favorite because like, look, he doesn't have any teeth and he looks so cute. <laughs> Look at that gummy smile. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. A figment Jim Shore. I of course had to get the 50th figment statue when I found out it was available on Shop Disney. I'm like, sign me up. I instantly got it. It's so beautiful. These, if you were on the fence about getting one of those 50th anniversary statues, be on the fence no more, my friends. Stunning. This is some really cute figment earrings that I got from a small shop. This is actually an ornament of figment from a festival, I'm sorry, from the Flower and Garden Festival, which I think is so cute. And speaking of Flower and Garden, I also have this plate. This is just a really pretty castle. I thought kind of went with the color scheme of this shelf, so I added it. We've got another 
figment statue and the purple sparkly bobble bar bag charm. This is the Figment Color Co. Paint Bucket Purse from the 2020 Festival of the Arts, which I love, love, love this paint bucket. I think it's so cute. And one of my most favorite things I've ever gotten from a Magic at Your Door box, we've got a plush Figment hat, and I just put it on a little bust so it could be displayed. And then there is that little paper Figment that is one of the scavenger hunt prizes. <laughs> Here is the art piece that I created for the movie Soul. I just did like a mixed media piece as like kind of an inspirational piece to help keep me motivated for the Wine and Dine Half Marathon from last year, which unfortunately I could not attend because I had to go to my grandfather's funeral, but it is a very close piece to my heart and I really, really love how it turned out. So there that is. And then above all of it are these stunning plates. These plates are from the Ink and Paint collection. And I was so very lucky because these plates I found at Burlington for $8. Yep, $8. How incredible is that? What do you guys think? I would love to know what you think of this display behind me. What was your favorite element? What was your favorite part? Also, tell me if you're gonna be going to the Festival of the Arts. I would love to hear about your experience or maybe you've been before and what you thought of the event. I would also love to know that. Thank you so, so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye.